reading the controller inputs. All right, everything seems to be working fine. Fantastic. Assuming, of course, the stream doesn't keep cutting out like last time. I only played for like a few minutes because of the fact it kept cutting out, so... Not much of note really happened. There we go. Alright. So, we have coops now. Basically, we went from the little fortress thing, where we did the quiz and got the stones. We ran back and went through the village. Coops came, the awkward turtle from last time. He decided to join us, and we can use him now. And now we're inside Hooktail's castle. Not much happened, as you can see. Alright. So, I plan to finish chapter one at the very least. I'll probably stop by eh, 220, 230-ish, probably. 230. I don't know why, I just occasionally just say things weird like that. Weird vocal mistakes. By the way, I should be able to finish chapter one in that time. Probably get started on chapter two. We'll see. Oh, you actually get to see his attack. Just just throwing his shell at people. And that failed. I should have stopped by that, like, health restore thing back by the save. Oh well. Because I have no FP anymore. Uh, I'll just... I can kill him in the next attack, so I might as well just use this, get some FP. I was going to say, watch me miss all the flower points. Ooh, that was close. Oh, well, I'm already up to max everything, so it doesn't really matter much. There's a later special move called Sweet Feet. Oh, I have ten. I thought I only had five. I forgot I upgraded it. Never mind, so it's not max. Later on, you get a special move called Sweet Feast, which is almost exactly like that. Only, instead of just a few things falling down now and then, it's tons of stuff, and you're basically supposed to just spam it. Oh, here we go, Power Bounce. Alright. Two allies in danger. I'll get rid of that. And equip Power Bounce. Oh, look at that, I struck first. May I show you what Power Bounce does? It's gonna be a bit overkill on a Koopa, though. There we go! You just keep doing it indefinitely, basically. Which is really useful. Since it can cut down a ton of health very quickly, since... Bosses in this game don't usually have, like... Thousands of health. I think the highest, the one with the most health had like 150 or something. Essentially, even if you do 10 health, 10 amount of damage to an enemy, that's actually quite a bit in one turn. Well, in one turn for one character. I am perfecting these super guards today. Look at that. Of course, this has actually quite a few battles on it because it's the boss's area. And this being an RPG, there's going to be a lot of bosses. I do like the castle, though. There's a lot of interesting moments in it, some which are repeated later as sort of a reference, but... Plus, the design's just kind of cool. You got all these dry bones just laying around. The sun shining in. Look at that! Those bars don't extend down all the way. I wonder why that is. Oh. They remind him of his father, because he knows what his father's bones look like. Maybe it's just the shoes. Yep, it's his dad. His dad's dead. He's clutching a letter. He's ripped him from his bones. Yeah, you can read it. Might as well know what your dad thought of you. Wanted to destroy Hooktail, but he got stuck. So, instead of just telling you exactly what it is directly, you cannot tolerate, the dreaded hooktail cannot, she cannot actually, tolerate 
creatures that begin with CR and end with Ikit, which is just a cricket. Why not tell them directly? So yeah, you can get an item in this, which is called the sound effect item. There's several badges like that, which are free to equip and just make different sounds. Alright, so he's dying, so he's like, My last words go to my son, Colorado. I love you, and I'm proud of who you've become. So yeah, that's, uh, it's not his dad. Which is kind of awkward, so he just desecrated a corpse. Although, fun fact, Colorado is a character from, uh, the original Paper Mario. He was prominent, I think, Chapter 5, and also appeared to be in Chapter 2. Got red bones. Who's talking? He has blue eyes. Blue eyes, red bones. Anyway, now we're just got swarmed with dry bones. If you actually just wait, you will just die, which isn't fun. Now we gotta fight red bones over here. I believe these guys are weak to fire, but I don't have fire, so fantastic. I shall swap out for Gumbella. So I want to know what the HP of this is. A little too red, I think. You know, no fashion sense. Okay, so the dull bones can survive, but red bo D the dull bones will die. Oh, I didn't get that right at all. But red bones, if he doesn't die first, basically, he might still... Yeah, dang it. He might revive. Well, I messed all those up. I think that's going to be... Yeah, the dull bones only have... They're technically dull bones instead of dry bones. They only have one HP, which is kind of useful make him easier to deal with. Crap. Come on up! Alright, so we'll use Power Shell and take care of a lot of these guys at once. They're all gone, so now we just have to deal with Red Bones, and I'll heal up. I don't want to accidentally die because I missed time a thing. That wouldn't be fun. Ah, oh, and he made more dry bones. I forgot about that. Yeah, it's not too powerful because you can just take it out almost instantly. And then I can... Well, I can't power smash him. That's what I was going to do because I don't have the flower points. I don't have the honey. I can use that next time. I might end it faster than just waiting. Take care of the dull bones again. These early bosses don't really... Well, I guess this is a mini boss, technically. They don't require much um, in the way of tactics compared to... You know, using it on different people doesn't really matter much. I use it on coops instead. But, um... Yeah, these early bosses, and especially the mini bosses, don't really require much in the way of strategy. Because it's just easy. Even the later ones aren't too difficult, anyway. So they should kill him. Incredibly stylish. Now he's down. <laughs> I failed the timing on that one. I do love the stage effects, how they'll just fall down randomly. And we level up. I seem to be doing fine with 10 HP, so... I'm gonna badge points again. I say I seem to be doing fine even though I just kinda died. Almost died a bit ago. Well, oh. Actually, that wasn't a good idea since I think they, these guys also have one defense. Yep. Well... I'll just have Coops take care of them all at once. Even if that uses up three of the flower points still. I think it was worth it. 
There we go, Shine Sprite. So those can be used to upgrade partners. So when we level up, we can upgrade our health and stuff, but you can't upgrade like a, your partner's health. To do that, you have to go to someone in back in Rogueport. And you need Shine Sprites to do so. Alright. Once again, short work of these guys. I failed the stylish there though. Look at that, I'm 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 tripping up, I'm choking. Alright, here, here's an actual puzzle. If I recall correctly, it's actually kind of simple. So these switches control those and you can't do anything with this one because there's a block on it. Actually I can't turn it off now. That's fantastic. Oh, it just stopped on its own. Okay, that that, that makes sense. I mean, you hit that switch, but we can't do it from here, so. Actually, first we're going to do this. So we can hold them in place, even though that kind of defies physics. And now we're up. You got a star piece, which will be useful later. I should probably find the person you give the star pieces to and show the show you guys what exactly that's for later. Probably after then this chapter ends. I forgot what was up here, but I have to send it up anyway. I make the jump. Well, I should be able to, but I failed. Wrong way. Actually, can I reach it with coops? That's one of the few like paper effects that doesn't absolutely destroy the frame rate. I mean, it kind of kind of hurt it, but oh, well, I think it'll be fine. I just do what's over here first because I need a key to go through the next door. Yep, I pick up items with coops. Oh, sounds like my cat wants in. Well, I'll, I shall let her in in a moment. So I want to get that friggin' star piece. Up we go. Can I get it with coops? I don't think so, but... Huh. One more try. If it was playing on my own, I would just try it myself constantly, because there's not really much of a time constraint. And one more try, and then I'll let my cat in as well. We can definitely get it later if, like, yeah. I want my cat in real quick. Yes, hello, Aya. Come on. Meow. Yes, yes, meow. I need to get a cat door installed so she doesn't just... She doesn't have to keep banging on the door to be let in. Alright. So, we will be able to get it later, even if we can't get it now. Because of a thing we get later. Actually, what's in here? Probably nothing we can actually use. Oh! Actually, I think it is. Well, there's some kind of torture chamber or something. So, these are the Paragoomas jumping at. Doing like the double jump you get with the normal jump is kind of pointless, so I might as well at least get both of them on the ground. Because they don't fall in the middle of the attack. Which kind of sucks. And because I can't do more damage, that's a bit of a pain. Alright. I'll kill this one with the coops. Honestly, the early battles are basically just about what's the fastest, most efficient way to kill them. Because they're not usually too difficult, just, you know, a bit of a pain. And this should kill him. Yep, and he's out. You can get a badge later on. Well, I know you could in the original. I assume you can in this one, too, but... Excuse me. It's essentially just 
whenever you, you get a first strike on the field, if it's a lower level enemy, you'll just instantly kill them. I don't think you get um any experience for it, but it doesn't really matter much. Since those kind of enemies you wouldn't get much for in the first place. Like, I just got one experience for that paratrooper. Or paragoomba. I can't attack because he's not on the ground. So I'll just, uh, defend. <laughs> now he's on his back. The defense was a bit pointless, but I'll be dead anyway. See, we got all four star points for that. If we had the first strike badge I mentioned, we'd be able to kill them instantly. And I know there was also one in the original where if you bump an enemy, they'll just die. Yes, hello, Aya. See, I already knew that, but I, uh, I can't get that over there. Oh, well. It looks like a torture chamber more than anything. So you got another one of those mysterious chests, like the one that was in the rogue port sewers. What the heck? Been a real long time, apparently. Yeah, a legendary hero, etc., etc., or not. To be honest, I'm sure you both ears can hear me. So basically, we need to let him out again. You think he'll be cursed? Yeah, I wonder why we think we're going to be cursed. I scratch your back, you scratch mine, except in reverse order. So we need to go find the key. Which will be in here. Doesn't the floor look ominous? You know, look at these chains. It kind of, it's kind of a horrifying thought for what's going to happen in a moment. Alright. Oh, I forgot to check the path. Oh well. I think we'll be fine. It's this way. Alright. Oh, no, it wasn't that way. So that means it's this way. So the spike wall is coming down. Imagine being chained to the wall in a room with a spike ceiling just coming down. That would be kind of horrifying. Was that, wasn't there a scene like this in the original Paper Mario? That's a thing. I can't be sure. Reminds me of that bit in, um... Sandy Butt's tomb in Banjo Kazooie. Fools! Now we're gonna be cursed again. Nice little fade to uh, fade to a slow and painful painful end. But how those Koopas and Paragumas get in here? They seem to be fine. This curse is more cursedly curse worth than any curse that's ever cursed you. Well, curse you. Ah, uh, so now we get to go flat. Which you think would just be a. You think this would just be something someone could do easily? You understand what this curse means for you? Yeah, it's horrible. I, I love the way it's like written, just like, no, I don't. Yeah, it's. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. You, you think someone could just be able to do this normally? Just like, oh. See, Koops can do it too. He didn't get cursed. I, he basically just taught me how to do something that should be logical. Anyway, now we can get out. And we can sneak in here. So the path we need to go through is back where we came from. Alright, the... That effects chip. Where is that? Badges. So, see, it needs no badge points. Hit that. I don't know what a cricket sounds like, but I guess, like... Wait, no, I was thinking of a cockroach. Yeah, I can see that being a cricket. We're not going to use it, though, so that makes the boss fight a bit easier. Only slightly, I think it just removes her one defense point. And we'll save here. 
It's supposed to probably be a while before we come back. I'm gonna head back this way. Find that... What do you call it? That... One door I mentioned earlier. Where there's a... Hole in it. Ah, yes, another key. Which we'll probably need to advance anyway. So, there we go. That was easy. Yeah, we'll probably need that. Actually, this is a weird castle. It's like 90% prisons. It's not much of a castle. It's like, just... More of a, like, dungeon. More of a Bastille. Is it the lost Bastille from Dark Souls, maybe? Yeah, the Paper Mario series is actually just the Dark Souls universe, except... It takes place between Dark Souls 1 and Dark Souls 2. Alright, and as usual, kick. I should play elevator music when this happens. Hello, I, uh... We can't get that yet, because Cooper can't reach it. And anyway, yeah, we did need that key. So luckily I picked it up. Go up here, since it's only six coins, it's not exactly expensive. You see the star piece out that window? Now we gotta go and get it. Another paper effect that doesn't really affect too much. Mm. Oh yeah, there's a switch over on the side. One thing I noticed is that a lot of puzzles in this aren't really puzzling. They're just kind of using, a, using an ability you already have. Some of them are, like, dealing with those spike bo blocks, like, at least kind of a puzzle. Not, like, insanely difficult, but it's at least a puzzle. Over here, no. No, you can't fall off. It, it mostly just, you have an ability, now just use it a few times. L later ones are actually kind of puzzling. There's literally a tower in the last chapter that is just solve puzzles. And they're kind of fun. It'd be cool if, like, more complicated ones like that were throughout the game. And now my cat wants out. One moment, I, uh... Collect this stuff. Alright, cat. And I dropped a thing. One out, I, uh... One. Let me pick this up. That was nothing of importance. Let's continue. Oh, Mario. Yes, that was indeed Mario. I think there are only a total of four cursed... Oh, I, I did that wrong. Yeah, dang it. Have to wait until it goes up all the way. At least it falls down relatively quickly. I mentioned before, I do hate timed stuff. That's just not fun. Oh. I hammered, but I guess a millisecond too late for it to count. Well, it shouldn't be too difficult of a fight anyway. Dull Bones dies, and then the goom the spiky Goomba will die, or spiked Goomba, whatever it is. Mr. Pointy Noggin. There we go. Alright, here we go. Meet a side character. It's a thief. Calls us a handsome piece of cheese. It's Ms. Mouse. Mouse. A cat burglar, except she's a mouse. <laughs> He's like, perhaps I just heard something you didn't want me hearing. She's really nice for a thief. She's like, hey, I found the badge I was looking for, so you can have it. Alright, I like how her tail's a heart. You're so bold, is that legal? <laughs> Oh yeah, somewhere in here is a badge that'll help us beat Hooktail. We already found it, of course. 
She should be familiar for later. So it's in these chests. We got a mushroom. A key, which we could have used. And one more chest. Honey syrup. Perfect. It's guess where they stockpile stuff like cannonballs, spears, and axes. No swords though, apparently. Not even a great sword. Like a massive like guts from Berserk level great sword. That'd be great. Mario Souls. Yeah, it definitely is the in the Dark Souls universe. It's just Everything about this is just a cheery version of Dark Souls. And he's still stuck on his back. I, I think that's actually a clever design though, the whole the way like Koopas, if you attack them, they'll land on their back and be kind of stuck like a turtle. It makes them pretty weak. And since that even happens to Cooper, that's kind of a pain. I mean to Coops. Keep calling him Cooper. Hammer time. You know, one thing I don't get, so you see we have the wooden mallet. At the end of the first Paper Mario, we had like this massive, insanely powerful mallet. But we don't have it anymore, so it's, that means at some point Mario got rid of his epic mallet, and also his epic shoes. To if that's common in games. It's just a bit weird. Like with, um, what was it? Actually, I don't know if the order really matters. Banjo Kazooie, when once Banjo Tooie rolled around, you had all the attacks you had at the end of Banjo Kazooie. You start with them, so you just learn new moves. You don't have to relearn them. Of course, then nuts and bolts takes them all away, but you never actually relearn them. To be fair, that game was less about the platforming, more about the driving mechanics. So at least that's, there's a fair reason for it. Oh. You know, if one might argue that people would have wanted the normal game instead of that. And I would agree, actually. Alright, so... I think this will kill them. Or will it? I think it only does two damage still. Yeah. Oh, No big deal. Feel bad for them though, because we're just stomping on their stomachs as they're stuck on their back. There's some Koopas that actually can't attack while they're still on their back. And if you super guard them, it leads to some funny instances. I think I think they appear in the uh in chapter three, so you should see them not too like should be too long before you see them. No, no, there we go. I don't have to deal with a lot of them. I should have more items to deal with them with. I don't think I picked. Mm, no. Sleepy Sheep, that one really killed them. Oh, multi bounce again. There we go. I'll take care of you. Uh, I can definitely take care of this one's death. And he's dead. I can't wait until I get like one of the power-up badges, which literally just makes you more stronger. You do more damage. Makes you more stronger. Makes you stronger. Alright. I think we should have enough star pieces for it, but it takes like, I think, six badge points for it. Spite pouch! <laughs> I like the idea of that, and just even the name of it, and just out of spite, you take damage too. Alright, I think there's something up over. Oh! Good job, me. Let's try again. Look like you can actually walk just by holding it down slowly. 
Sprinting in. There's a life's room around here somewhere. I mean, it's over this way. I don't know, it was just a... Uh, what do you call it? Star piece. Which we still want. So we're still gonna get it. Oh! God dang it! I'm so bad at this. That's why you don't run when you're on a tiny, narrow passage. You say I know where it's at, so I don't have to explore everything again. Take it slow. Take it easy. I don't even know why I'm doing this. Oh, I don't think you even can. Alright, so take it slowly. And... Almost there. Now that's funny. So slow, you just kind of like... Slowly just vibrated over there. Alright. Let's use our first curse. Again, I like how they actually use the paper aspect in this a bit more. Which, the first one, there wasn't really any point to the paper. It was just a thing that was there. Uh, is there any way I can, like... Hmm. Maybe? I might be able to, if I get the timing right. Nope, that's a wall there. I'm gonna try it just to see if it's actually possible. Well, it didn't affect it, so I have to go through and do it again. Oh, dear. Well, that was fun. I'm pretty sure I could have done it, too. If I was trying to get coops, so I could hold them out. So that way there would at least be a space there. So, when I hit the thing again, there'd be a space, I could go down, but... I failed. Fantastic. I mean, we're almost to the end of the chapter anyway. Alright, come on. I hope I won't fall this time. Take it slow again. Now we can run. Oh, dang it. Oh, no, actually, it did point me in the right direction. Good. Yeah, I believe this is the last area before we actually get to the boss. Well, second to last, I suppose. As we go out into, like, a little bridge balcony thing. Actually, how many star pieces do I have? Or star points? God dang it. Um, 64, so probably won't level up if I battle everything here anyway. Let's try to avoid them. I wish you'd spin like you could in uh, the original Paper Mario. Like, look at the background. There's the massive castle, and it's definitely huge, that's for sure. Here's the tower where Hooktail resides. Oh, and there's a spiky Goomba. Do I need it? Oh, that, okay, so it's Z. Yeah, I do need some for the... If only for the flower points. Here we are! It's, it looks empty, though, so there's no boss, and there's probably no one home. I'm gonna just pick up the shine, the star, the crystal star, and leave. Oh no, they're home. All right, here she is. 
Friends of the strange garbed one who came earlier. A strange garbed one. That must be one of the x knots I imagine. Alright. Anyway, she wants to eat us. Obviously, because she's a dragon. Some nice music, though, that's for sure. Can't flee this fight, yep. Actually, I'll have Mario switch out to Gambella because I want to tattle on her. Just so I can see how much health she has. I don't remember exactly. That's Hooktail 20, yeah. It's not much. Yeah, she has one. Uh, oh, look at that. Super dodge. She has one defense. If we use the badge, they'll just remove the defense. Well, where's the fun in that? Alright, so I have to switch back again. Since she can't actually attack him, attack her properly. And sadly, the super guard doesn't actually damage her, which kind of sucks. And I f <laughs> failed to do that one some art. <laughs> no, there's a bucket. Uh, that's fun. Stage of X can get kind of a pain. Now you're dizzy, so my attacks might miss. Super guard again. I'm gonna use Sweet Tree in case it, when I run out of the. Uh... I probably shouldn't have used this because I'm I'll probably I'm probably gonna miss. It's a waste of. Oh no, I didn't. Why not? I did it would have been a waste of flower points. No stylish there. The timing for her attacks aren't isn't ridiculous like how a lot of the AoE attacks are. <laughs> Another bucket! The buckets really do not like Mario in this. Anyway, now... Let's see... Oh, nope, not quite yet. This boss isn't over just yet. I'm not gonna use a special thing just yet. Alright. When's she gonna do it? I guess not yet. Oh, I failed that one. So this time for some sweet treats then. I like how they just kindly get off the stage. Then he's just kindly. Just like, oh, well, you're gonna do a thing? Okay. Oh, ah, crap. From mushrooms. <laughs> I hit another one immediately afterwards, of course. So, it's probably going to be one more damage, then she'll be done. And I failed again. Alright, Coops, you can take your head on this time. Guess I actually have to get her down to zero, then. Yep. She's not quite done. She gives up. She'll give us a thousand coins. Do you want a thousand coins? Nah. Keep your coins, fiend! Lovely extra special badge. It's one of a kind. No, keep it, you cad. <laughs> Smell the bottoms of her feet. People pay good money to do it. Yeah, that's... No thanks. That's disgusting. <laughs> it's a dragon foot. It probably doesn't smell very good. It's important to be able to trust someone you know. And so she tries to escape. Actually, no. She just eats the audience. <laughs> just kind of horrifying. 
So she has half her health back. Now we fight in the seats, which is actually really cool. Alright, um... Let's see. Take the mushroom, Mario. Now we can destroy her. Not much stylish was kind of pointless, I suppose. Nope. I said it was easy, and now I'm failing it every single time. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Oh, that was close. So, I guess I shall... I must use Sweet Tree just to be safe. Actually, I think her defense is lowered again, so... Maybe it would have ended quickly anyway. Well, better safe than sorry. <laughs> See, then I hit the mushroom again. Oh, oh well, it doesn't matter much at that point. Almost max flower points and... Yep, super guard with the shell. So it should be, should be done this turn. Or maybe not, actually. Oh yeah, it was. There we go. Why, there's still so much I want to do with my life. So many meals. I don't get how you fall over quite like that. I get rolling over, but then she just like flips over directly onto her back. It seems like that would require a lot of effort rather than just something that would happen as you die. Oh. Oh, she's twitching. Blech. Look at those eyebrows! And that beard! This is dad. Yeah! Touching reunion. He almost doesn't recognize his son because he's been trapped there for so long. That's kind of sad. Poor guy. I think his pose just like <laughs> he flies out and just standing like this. Oh, look at that. He's all happy like. I played a trick and gobbled him up. Or she. I'm pretty sure Hooktail's a girl in this. I think he, she has a brother later that's upset that he killed her. Thought your game was over. That's kind of a funny way of like saying people are dead. That's like the entire thing in Super Paper Mario. There's the underwear where people go and their games are over. Mr. Mario. With the crystal star, and he's like, Crystal star? Just drops it. There you go. And she ate it. And the dragon slay for a freaking crystal star, and. Because <laughs> it was in her belly. Alright, we did it. Chapter complete. Now you have one of my favorite special moves. It gets outclassed as soon as we get Art Attack, but it's still pretty good in the early game. Alright. So we have Night Over Peaches still. Obviously this being Chapter 1, the adventure's only just begun. And let's see what's next. Bit of an interesting viewpoint, isn't it? Well, there's Crump again. What a strange name, Crump. 
At least they have a crumpet. They brought the peach to go see. Oh, electricity. Grotus! I also thought that was a mustache too, but no, it's not. <laughs> it's like part of his cloak. Very strange mustache. If it was. So basically, he wants to find the map Mario has, and she's not telling him. Oh. Someone nabbed the crystal star, they thought. Actually, what's up with this dome? Just mechanics in this dome head. It must be heavy having that on your head for, like, all the time. Does he sleep with it on, too? A mustached dude in a red hat and blue overalls who pull off the job. It's Mario. So basically, now they know Mario's kind of important. Good job, Peach. She always gets kidnapped. How sad. Yeah, at least in the Paper Mario games, specifically the first two, she's still kind of important. Like, very important in what she does. She's definitely important in Super Paper Mario because she's, like, captured for, like, the first chapter or something. But she's playable throughout most of it, so it's a bit different, isn't it? Summon another x naught This specific x naught You rang, dude? <laughs> See a printy. Shut up, go get the Shadow Sirens. Alright. Are they going to appear? Are we gonna end you? Oh, yep, they're gonna come. Alright, so basically they want... He wants them to find Mario. Strange old men show up at the moment of truth and we had to retreat. So basically they were watching when Mario beat, um, Hooktail. Build them! So, telling, her, telling them to go find him and beat him. Look at Vivian's hair. Just covering her covering her face entirely. It's like her hat. Colors on it. Different parts of the base. And there we go, Peach. Now we get to play as her for a bit. Can't believe I'm kidnapped again. So unfamiliar. Yeah, that's because you're in a secret base! Alright. So, one of the things you can do, it's slightly infamous. Go right in here, and you take a shower. Let's we'll do it just for the sake of it. Now we're gonna get banned from Twitch. It's a bit too steamy, isn't it? <laughs> Oh dear. Well, she dries off with the towel, of course. But she does so very quickly. I'd still be soaked after just like one second holding onto the towel. She's got somehow she has makeup on and just she did that really quickly in the uh shower and she also has a ponytail. Which goes away immediately after we leave the room. <laughs> Now the door is open. I forget that is necessary, isn't it? I just never try to do the door, I just always go straight to do that. And the door opens on its own again. Oh dear. Here we go, into the computer room. There is no crocodile person here telling you to find it. Here we have tech. A robot. Computer. 
Cre Grotus created them as a perfect computer. The dome-headed thing. <laughs> He's not awful. He's a great person and marvelous. So basically, this guy, this robot, let her in because watched um watched a shower. Yeah. Overheated at your image of showering. Yeah, I wonder why. Solution was I want to know more about you. So basically, he summoned us to talk, basically. Very strange character. You're a computer. What has happened to me? If you know my malfunction, you must tell me of it. It's just too weird. <laughs> Basically, she thinks the computer fell in love with her. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. No more. So much for a perfect computer for not even knowing what love is. One thing, not necessarily understanding how to, f like, comprehend how it feels, but you should at least know what love is. Supposedly a perfect computer. Oh. <clears throat> you cannot comprehend it because he is not actually perfect, sadly. Silent reaction. Don't you care about love? You're a computer. I am perfect. There must be nothing I cannot comprehend. The relationship between the two is very strange, but also interesting. <laughs> Spit on your screen. That emotion I comprehend, anger, <laughs> of course. Alright, so... He'll let her send an email to Mario. It's a very strange looking uh, keyboard, though. Alright. She's also a very quick typer at that, too. I think I'm usually kind of a quick typer, but... Not quite that fast to type a full email. This is just, hello Mario, I'm okay. Spoiler alert, it isn't. Alright. Good night, Peach. And the screen slightly dims because he turns off the lights. Let's see, dude. I don't think we go straight to Mario yet. I don't remember if it... let's see. Nope, we get Bowser. There we go. Look how the design of his castle changes constantly between games. Even games in the series. So we have to play as the King of Koopas himself. There we go. I love his, his like cocky and just kind of comedic personality in this game. You crusty old hag! She's not here yet, so we just have to wander around until she appears. The uh, crusty hag Kami Koopa will arrive momentarily. So if we talk to those guys, I think they just tell us the way at the end of the room, both of them. Your huffiness. Gasliness. Talk to these guys. <laughs> you may want to put a cork in it, man. <laughs> oh dear, that's... This is very funny. I'm not funny, sir. He's not funny, sir. Can you interact with one of these? Well, I think all of them. 
You can stick statues all over the place. Oh no. Another hammer, bro. To help you conquer the world. Surliness. Uh, super. In that case, I order you to do some sit up stubby. <laughs> Mandatory in all households. You're so narcissistic, it's hilarious. Huh? Lewis Incredible, Statue's Eye is a jewel. You got the Bowser jewel. Except he's kidding. <laughs> Hail Lord Bowser. I think this guy says Hail Lord Bowser. Oh. Yep, tell us to head to the rear. There we go, there's the Bowser portrait. There's a mustache in that portrait. There's Cammy. I was always disappointed that the, um... <laughs> she's tired by the time she reaches the end of the hall. But she's old. And I'm always disappointed that, like, in the DS games, like the Mario and Luigi games, just, like, at the beginning of Bowser's Inside Story, Bowser's kind of helped out by a... Magikoopa, but it's not Cammy. It should've been Cammy. That would've been great. Yeah, grumpiness. Alright, so basically Mario is in Rogue Port, so Bowser's like, okay, time to go and get him. He's hunting for a treasure. Like, the first season's gonna be like, oh, we're gonna, go, we're gonna go and get him, until they find out that there's, a uh, treasure to get. So he wants treasure. <laughs> Good world conquering tools. I was like, do you like fried eggs? You bet I do. <laughs> Lovely place called Petal Meadows. <laughs> Get one there for a picnic and having some eggs and toast. <laughs> oh, that's great. Airhead, a picnic. This is no time for fun. It was funny, just this evil villain wants a picnic in Petal Meadows. Remember your blood pressure. There's a Magic Koopa. Bowser, terrible news. Some bold fool abducted Princess Peach in Rogueport. Who'd do such a thing besides me? So Bowser's pissed and someone else kidnapped Peach instead of him. <laughs> See, they go. He has to go kidnap her back. Honestly, she, Peach would probably be happier with Bowser since at least Bowser's predictable. And here's one of the Fermite tanks. He just smashes through a wall. Oh dear. Doesn't really care much for uh, keeping things in order. Just let someone else fix it. Save the game. Yep. So now we're back to Mario, and we're gonna. S we should be able to start Chapter Two. Yeah, like 40, 30 minutes or something. Won't be able to beat it, of course. But since that one's kind of long, all kind of long. Now that I think about it. See, he he has. Koops' dad has fantastic eyebrows, but I mean, seriously, look at Kroops. It's just. They, they're, they're huge. They're like tufts of just. Looks like a cat. Looks like a cat on his eye. And like, Koops is still a permanent traveler, even though we killed uh, Hooktail. Remember, I am your. You are my son, and I am your father. And Koopy Koo will be waiting. And he's always welcome home. Alright, now we got a thing to get from here, too. Now that we have the ability to turn sideways. The bearer of the magical map shall unfurl it before the thousand year door. So, now that we have a crystal star, it'll tell us where the next one's at. Which is kind of important. I don't remember what this badge was, but let's see what it is. Yep. 
Oh, I skipped what it did. Can I equip it though? All right. If drop the damage rally takes by one half when in danger. And this is the new one we got. Increase attack power by five when your partner's in peril. I don't have the space for it. Might as well equip both of them. At least for now. Let's see if the kid has anything new to say about what game he's playing. He got a GameCube and he's been uh, playing the sequel to Paper Mario. <laughs> that, that that is really strange though. Just, just just trying to comprehend that he's playing a game that is happening currently. I have some fire flowers and maybe a pow block. There we go. And of course, save. I think I just saved, but might as well. Do it again. Better safe than sorry. He's been standing there for like this entire time. He's just staring, waiting for new people. Oh, there's her email with um, Mario World music. That new mailbox SP, isn't it? That's already more than it would have taken. She typed way less than it would already take to write that. Let alone the rest of the email. Should have gotten, like, my dearest Mario and maybe I send this letter. <laughs> she doesn't know where she's at, obviously, and then relative comfort. She can take a shower. After your map. And the Crystal Stars, of course. It's like it's like a full on essay. And she wrote that in like three seconds. For the crystal stars as well. Is there anything in here? No. You know, there's not really much point I'm probably gonna get one experience from killing all of these, but Or maybe not. If I get four, then that's enough to level up, so that's pretty good. I can get, uh, should I go for more badge points or should I go for flower points? Hmm. Let's I'll decide when that moment comes. Oh, I know, I need six more, not four. I'm terrible at math, look at that. I need one more. Oh, missed the coin. There we go. Now we're in business. Hopefully there's not many here enough that I can... Let's kill him with Koops' attack. I'll take care of both. All the rest... I'll take care of the last two very quickly. Alright, there we go. Now I leveled up. Let's see, so I'll have 12 badge points, or 15 health, or 15 flower power. Let's go with... Well, again, more badge points. Next time I'll go with flowers. And then next time I'll go with health. I didn't need to do that. <laughs> oh, it's only two. This should, only, this should be quick. After this, I'm not fighting anymore, but I'm probably not going to counter anymore after this anyway. Yep, two star points for killing two of them. At this point, they almost certainly would be killed instantly with the first strike badge or whatever. Later, Goomba. There's the castle again that we'll... We will see it again, but not for a while. As usual, save just to be safe. So before I go see the oh the thousand year door, I'm gonna go to something else since going to the thousand year door take us immediately straight to um 
I forgot his name. Frankly's office. I don't want to see that badge lady. Should be over here. Oh yeah, now we can sneak through it really easily. So we can do that. We don't have to go through the platforming crap. So if you miss, you don't have to wait two years for it to come back. There she is. She makes star pieces. She she collects star pieces and she doesn't make them. Let's see, I have seven. We have power plus. Dang it, I don't have enough for it. Chill out. Never su succumb to a first strike. Pretty lucky. So we automatically recharge those. We can see all enemies' health, but... Aw, uh, she calls this lame. So I don't have enough to get the Power Plus badge. I'm gonna get multiple of the, multiples of those and stack them. So needs to do, like, ridiculous amounts of damage. Not quite as ridiculous as, of course, Danger Mario, but I don't really want to do that. No, it's Luigi. Let's go inside instead of talking to him. I probably could have just gone to the Thousand Year Door before I did this, but... Eh, it doesn't matter. Do Goombella first. Shazibi and Shazubi. I probably should have done Koops, but I don't even remember what his next special ability was. Then you may go. Alright, later. Sock Luigi. What a coinky dink. He's on his own adventure, which is kind of funny. Kidnapped by the evil Chestnut King. Met with some Waffle Kingdom cabinet members. I'll hear about it some other time. And let's go to the Thousand Year Door now. When we come back up, I'm going to stop by the bad shop and buy some, like, an actual bad shop. Not just a person who will trade badges for things of star pieces that came from, I guess. What they actually came from? Obviously not, well, maybe actual stars. Are they corpses of, like, people from the, uh, from Star Haven or whatever? They just fall down from the sky? That's pretty grim. Oh. Spinyas. Our right, next area we're going to go is actually down through that little hole over there, but we're not going there just yet. Because we have no reason to yet. And it will accomplish nothing. Especially can't fly right into the next room, that'd be nice. And actually... There's a secret area over here, it's not much of a secret, but I think there's also stuff we can actually use over here. Yeah, can we get anything over here, or just... no. We have the Pit of 100 Trials. First attack and bump attack badges don't work, so beware! So, this is just... A floor with a hundred trials in it. We battle enemies. It's impossible to do it at this level, almost. And... It is a long trick. I don't think I've... I think I beat it once. But I never did it again. I might give it a shot once I finish the main story here. Alright. I know it's got a bit stuffy there. There's the first crystal star, which just kind of flies over there. The texture on the door is actually really cool looking. Why don't we just, like, drill through it? Just get a drill and just break through it. That might work. And there we go, Bodley Woods. Look how this ancient map has those, like, mechanical fish things on it, at like, the bottom corner. And 
He just looks at it and just nods. It's like, oh, I see. I see. That thing. I wonder if this map is actually accurate to where the places are physically. Or if it's just a general, it's over here, in this place. Alright. Crystal clear. Ha. Huh. Great tree there. Right, tree inside Bodley Woods. About those woods, some odd creatures. Yeah, we saw that in like the first part. Punies. So yeah, the people who kidnap her are also looking for the crystal stars, and he's gonna say, "That's not good." Basically. All right. So don't be, yeah, don't be too icy. So you see this trash can here? If we fight an enemy, like a boss or something, then we don't tattle them. The tattle data of them will appear in this trash can. Regular enemies doesn't count for because, well, you can just always go back and tattle them again. Once you beat a boss, you can't really do that. And we'll save one more time. Actually, yeah, here we go. This means our... Contact lenses in. That's a giant contact lens. This eyes in this universe are pretty big, so They're not toad eyes. Yep, here's your contact lens. She should be able to see pretty well anyway, since she only missed one. So I mean, it might be a little. Headache inducing, but should be able to work. I mean, now she'll cook stuff for us. Alright. Buy something. This guy will sell random badges over time. We have shooting, and I also items, obviously, like shooting star and that. It also, it's double pain, which ba all it does is just makes you take double damage. I don't think it does anything of benefit, just, just a challenge run. And the timing tuner, the tutor, which. Helps you learn the timing for all stylish commands. Nothing good though, honestly. It also says the Wario emblem. <clears throat> or W emblem, I believe it's called, which makes you look like Wario. I think you need a bucket for that bucket. It seems to be leaking. Actually, why isn't there water leaking anyway? It's not even raining. Alright, let's see what they have. FP drain. Basically, Mars attack bars drop by 1, we gain 1 FP for attack, which we don't want. Piercing blow is pretty good. Close call, which is used for danger Mario, and unsimplifier. Which makes action commands harder, but also earns more star power. Also, this person looks familiar. They should. Not gonna say who it is if you can't figure it out though. We'll take this, of course. It's only 35 for the simplifier. And I'm not gonna use it, so no point in it. Well, actually, it's still equipping anyway. <clears throat> actually, since um, I don't have much use for it, I'll just equip the HP plus for the time being. Then when I level up next, maybe I'll go for health instead of flower power. Of course, still only have 15 health now. <laughs> I mean, I still only have 10. Just have a max of 15. Also, let's beat the crap out of this guy. 10 coins to pass through. I can take you. can't jump on him, you just get stabbed. I think he has 15 health? I should show off Earth Tremor, actually. Or maybe not against this guy. That's Gus. 
Oh yes, 20 HP. There's no defense though, of course. Yeah, don't jump on a pointy spear. What if this guy watches people pass 365 days a year? Oh, and I failed the timing on that. I'm gonna power smash him again. I guess I equipped the sound effects badge at some point. Must have done accidentally when I was in the badge menu a moment ago. What was it? Multi bonk. Oh yeah, it's like the power bounce. It should be called power bonk instead of multi bonk. That'd make more sense. Mess up the timing again. Game over. Yeah, it, he's actually a tutorial meant to teach you that you can run, and that's actually a valid strategy at times. I shall use. Hmm. Yeah, I'll be fine. I need a sweet treat instead of Earth Tremor. <laughs> Kill him, but I'd rather have more health than. Oh, and I hit that again. Good job, me. Alright, and that's that. I'll throw it? Yes, he did. What a dick. He's, he is almost dead, though, at least. Hammer time. Now the stylish is useful. That was my fault for being distracted from the attack. Normal hammer. Normal hammer. And he's down. You got 20 experience for that. That's not bad. Dumb video game heroes always pull the stuff. Think about souls, everything, don't you? <laughs> anyway, now we can pass through there at any time we want. Ishnail and the Rabble Band of Thieves. And yeah, there's a secret over this way. Which you couldn't have accessed earlier at, until we got this power up anyway. There's a snail. Snail! <laughs> no, a, a mouse. There's Ishnail. Let me I de equip that badge. There we go. And there is a thing up there, but we can't actually reach it because we can't get up there yet. Well, actually, can we? No, I can't make that jump. There's a secret over there we need a key for, and. Let's see, is this the. This is the side quest area, basically. First time to the trouble center. No, I don't need one. Oh, we have to gain explanation then. Yeah, basically, you go to the board and there's an issue someone needs dealt with. Let's see, uh, there's Garf who needs a key, McGoomba, Arfur, Goomather, find this guy, and you hit someone. There's people all over. Mayor Croup, he's like, just listen to me talk. Plenty and order her an item. There's a lot of different ones. You get different, like, rewards for it. Kind of cool. It's kind of interesting that a place like this has a trouble center. Actually, I might as well show off the west side, too. So, we can't do a whole lot here, but let's head over here anyway. There's a Goomba just smelling the flowers, there's a fountain, little kid. Here's the Pianta Parlor, which we can't actually do anything in because we can't play any the games in it. It's like a little mini game center. It's also a lottery thing. This big bob will give us a lottery ticket. 
Tell me more. All right. This was set by the, yeah, set by the GameCube clock. It changes midnight, so sure I'll buy one. All right. Let's see if I remember how to do this though. We can talk to the boss if I remember exactly what this is. To buy a dizzy dial then a dried shroom. So that the other way around. I okay, bought the dizzy dial and you can't carry it, but um temporarily. So I'm gonna use the mushroom might as well. There. In the original one, he actually had an eating animation, which I think was kind of funny. It's by the dried shroom. Alright. I can't hold it. Apparently it must have been the other way around. Crap. Well, I'll sell some crap I don't need. Spite pouch. Sleepy sheep. And might as well sell the dried shroom. Even though I just lost a coin on that. I think it's a dried shroom, then a dizzy dial. Alright, give me the mushroom. Oh, good thing. No. Then, there. No, good thing. What was it? I was sworn you could have done it before. You just have to wait until that chapter is. Oh well. We sell the dry room. Oh well. I'm probably just misremembering it. I'm almost certain it was a dried shroom in a dizzy dial, but. This you can exchange coins for the Pianta tokens. There's a Game Boy here for some reason. Oh yeah, that's the score checker. Anyway, the Piantas are basically just the Mafia. So, um. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't mess with them too much. Now let's actually get started on chapter 2. I wasted so much time, I probably won't be able to get very far. <laughs> oh well, no big deal. As always, next time. Come on up, come on! In we go. I'm glad the stream didn't cut out at all this time. So that means I have to go back down here. <clears throat> and that creature should appear again. Talk about a shortcut. It's a lot more practical than you'd think, apparently. Oh, yep, th there's one of the punies. He can't get us because he's too down, down too low, sadly. Let's chase him! Eek! Don't eat me. And you're not bullies, guess again, nerd. <laughs> oh god. Creature from Bagley Woods. Working for the X-Knots. This line is great. Sounds like Tish is to the extreme or something. Kinda does. So, the Exonauts basically came and started terrorizing the Great Tree. Alright. We punies don't know anything about any crystal stars. I don't know what it is, but if it helps us reclaim our tree, I'm sure the Elder will agree. <laughs> Alright. So Mario's gonna help. I wonder if Mario's actually just a nice guy who helps, or if he just is only doing it because he gets the crystal stars. Of course, we can't fit through such a small crack. There's a badge up there which we can get.
There we go. I think the reason they took away him from appearing in the, uh, what was this? Damage dodge, which decreases damage by one. Da decreases damage by one with a guard from the action command. Can I equip it? I guess because if he was still here... When you... God damn, my brain's not working. If he was still here when you when you were actually able to make it into this area, you'd probably still have a natural talk with him. It'd be a bit sequence-breaky. Which they probably didn't want. Now he's a temporary party member. It's Punio. Or Punio. I don't know how you pronounce it. Chapter 2. It's a goal. The Great Boggly Tree. There's Mario, Peach, Bowser, and Grotus appearing on the coin. Boggly Woods. This music makes me think David Attenborough is just going to narrate the lives of some creatures that live here. So to get to the great tree, this has a decent bit of backtracking, which is kind of a pain, but we're not going to get to all that this episode, at least. Oh, cutscene. Oh, well, that's the Shadow Sirens again. Find that Mario guy and B, steal the map for the Crystal Stars, right? We can just do away with Mario's friends, can't we? Or is that bad? Bad things happen all the time. <laughs> so, the thing is, they don't remember what he looks like. Vivian found a necklace. And Ben Lam is very abusive to Vivian, sadly. So I bring out the sketch of what Mario looks like, but she doesn't have it. Oh, and since she lost it somewhere, she blames Vivian. <laughs> of course, she recognizes what Mario looks like, Marilyn does, but she can't actually speak, she just kind of grunts. So, not much help. <laughs> oh, poor Vivian. Uh, and so she takes the necklace. How oh, sad. Poor Vivian. Alright, so let's talk to them. She's upset. <laughs> and she's like, uh, doesn't know what to think. What is it, Mr. Mustache? Leave a scram. <laughs> Since they have no idea that we're Mario, obviously. There's, the, there's a bit in the um, original Paper Mario where, like, um, oh, god dang it. The first Piranha Plant like enemy. Fantastic. Um. Actually. Where there's this, like, I guess a uh, vulture, I think, is kind of hunting Mario. Oh, I messed that up entirely. I messed up that timing, too. Jeez, I'm screwing up entirely. But, um, a vulture's like, hey, you're, you're Mario, right? And he kind of confronts you on a bridge. And you can just say you're, um... You can just say that you're actually Luigi, and he'd be like, oh, okay. And you don't have to fight him. That was a fun little event. Alright. Actually, I think I'm gonna have to call it here. I'll go back and save. Yeah, we didn't get far into Chapter 2 this time, sadly, but... 
We had fun and we finished chapter one. And Coops is... See, Coops is tired. He doesn't want to continue. Do ya? Do ya, buddy? Alright. Well. Thank you guys for, uh, whoever watched this. If anyone did. Hope you enjoyed your time and that'll be all for now. See... Well, keep watch for the future and see if we continue.